From the campus of Arkansas State University, this is Centennial Reflections. Welcome to Centennial Reflections, a look at the history of Arkansas State University from its beginnings as an ag school in 1909 to the multi-purpose university that it is today. I'm Rich Carville, host for this series. Our guest today is Tim Dean, who's director of the Convocation Center at Arkansas State University. Uh, big business, big impact on the community of Jonesboro, Northeast Arkansas, and uh, of course ASU. Uh, how do you assess the, uh, uh, the impact that the Convocation Center has made? It's, um, it's, it's been quite amazing at what I think the, not only Jonesboro, but the entire region has seen um, as a result of us having such a facility on campus. You know, we're, um, we're able to host events and numbers of people uh, that, you know, had it not been for that facility, I think we would, you know, be looking at um, we just wouldn't have had the, the the caliber of things that we've had here. You know, we, uh, you know, I come back from a, a period of the old field house and you know, things taking place there where we would seat three thousand people to now where we can do you know ten thousand plus for various events. So, it's been a, you know just a tremendous asset to to ASU and to to the entire area. You've been involved in the convocation center since its beginning in 1987 been very fortunate to have, have had a career. Um, I went to school here, graduated in 85, uh, and at that, during my um, college career, I uh, worked part-time at the physical plan as a student and also served as the uh, coordinator for the union board as concert coordinator for so, two years. So that years. was kind of training for what it, you do. It, it was actually some on the job training that I, you know, I was getting a two-fold education while, while I was getting a degree. Um, we, you know, the, the crew that I worked for at the physical plant was responsible for setting the stage for the commencement exercises, um, you know, all of the things that went with that, which obviously we do, you know, now three times a year at the Convocation Center. And then we also would set for the concerts, uh, staging, chairs, all of the things that went with that. And then on the back side of that, as concert coordinator, you know, I was able to book the shows and negotiate deals and um, Rick Stripling, who is uh, still here with the university, uh, was our um, uh, advisor. Uh, advisor, thank yeah, you. Yeah. Uh, and he, Rick gave me a lot of latitude to do things and, and to learn as I went. And you know, I'm very grateful for that. And uh, it allowed me to, to be where I'm at today. Well, and you moved up in the ranks at the Convocation Center until you became its its director in 1999. Right, started as assistant director there. It actually started in February of '87, uh, uh, prior to the building opening in May. And that was one thing that, when, as the building was being built, uh, the target date had always been to have commencement mm -hmm. in '87. Um, and we actually uh, had the commencement exercises. The building got basically finished. Uh, but we cleaned the building up, had the exercises, had to give the building back to the contractor because they weren't finished yet. And it was about another month and a half before they actually completed the building and gave us the keys. And since that time, you've had countless circuses, truck pulls, basketball games. The Convocation Center just is the home for many, many things. We're, we have been extremely fortunate. Um, us, you know, it's been a growing process. Uh, Jonesboro is certainly not in the, you know, the concert industry. We're not, you know, a major metropolitan market that they look at when they start putting a tour together. Um, but we have evolved into an area now, we get consideration on an a large scale now. When things begin to come together, we've we've been successful enough that we definitely are considered, and um, we stay very very busy. Um, there are uh, very few weekends that there's not something that goes on in addition to what takes place during the week. 
but um, we have just very limited number of dates that we have available that we can rent and we we book four or five six years in advance for some things because of the way touring goes and putting things together so again we've been we've been very fortunate and the community has supported us just tremendously well you you tend to pop up on the radar screen when you sell the arena out, and you've had several sellouts recently. We have. This past year, without question, has been our most successful year. Um, we, Going into this uh, last year, into 08, um, we had had four sellouts. Uh, this past year alone, we had four sellouts, and we're sitting right now on uh, Friday night. We'll have another event that we will sell sell out, and you know, so obviously that's what you hope to do. Um, but um, you know, not everything that you do is you know successful. I mean, we've had events that that weren't successful, mm -hmm. um, but we've certainly been uh, blessed in the fact that we've had many, many more that were than were not. We'll come back and talk a little bit more about the convocation centers, the facilities that are available, and that sort of thing. But let's let's pause right now.